All right, if you've ever had to change owner, uh, you will know that there are some interesting checkboxes that are available to you if you go and do it in Salesforce Lightning UI. I can go down here and select change owner. And like currently first user is the owner. I'm gonna change it to second user. And notice that there are three, six, seven different configurable options here. Uh, we, the, we wanted to enable a flow to do, to have these same configuration options uh, so that you can, you can do it in automation. So we do that with a new action called ch change owner and style. And to get a sense of that, let's go and look at a test flow that we've created that, that provides access to every option this action has. So the action is right down here. And you can see that it's just called change, just labeled change owner. And uh, I've, selected, uh, I've selected the object that I wanna work with. And I've got all these options here. This is the ID of the new user. I'm gonna use a lookup component to pick the user I want. And then there's a lot of other inputs that this action has. And some of these inputs only are designed for one particular object. You can see here there's several knowledge onlys and a bunch of account onlys and even uh, a couple of opportunity onlys. All right, let's take a look at what we can do here. We've got an account, Definity Bank, and we've got it's got two cases, one's open, one's closed. And all of these three records, the two cases and the account are owned by first user. Now, let's click change owner and style, and let's try changing the account owner to second user. Simplest solution. So this shows second user, and if we go here to the cases, you should stay with first user. Let's change this back. All right, so now it's once again owned by first user and these are still owned by first user. These didn't change at all. And now let's again change it to second user, but let's, all, let's use our action and let's transfer open cases owned by first user should also go to second user. So here is second user. And if we go here, what we, expect is that this one, when I refresh, expecting this will, the top one will go to second user and the bottom one will stay, stay the same. And that's exactly what happened. And now let me once again, set them all to the same thing. So now once again, these are, everything is owned by second user. So now I'm going to change it back to first user. And I'm going to say that I want to move all cases And now we've got first user here and both of the associated cases get as well. Okay, next we're gonna focus on the options about transferring contacts, contracts, and orders. So our Definity Bank is owned by first user and we've got a contact here, uh, a contact on Definity Bank and this, the contact owner is first user. We also have, we scroll down here, we have contract 100 and an, a draft order 100. And both of those uh, you can see here, uh, here is the draft, here's the contract that's assigned to first user. And here is the order assigned to first user. So our action lets us choose whether or not those should all be transferred to the new owner. So we've got also transfer draft draft orders. Notice only draft orders are supported by this API. 
And then here we have also, tra also transfer contacts and then also transfer contracts. Uh, so all three of those I have mapped to our little, uh, little form. So here is our form. So I am going to say second user and I am going to say, yes, I want contracts. Yes, I want contacts. And yes, I want orders transferred as well. And my debug log shows me that I'm passing that I'm, I'm effectively passing in true. So let's go see. So everything should now say second user. Uh, let's refresh. And we have second user. Here's the contact. Here is the order. Second user. And here's the contract second user. Okay, so that all worked. And now let's try running this again. And we're going to transfer the account back to first user, but we are not going to transfer contacts, contracts or orders. And so we expect this to go back to first user. Uh, however, we expect the contacts to stay owned by its original owner. It is. We expect this contract to stay owned by the original owner. It didn't change. Good. And here is the order. All right. Let's look at what we can do to control how opportunities do or don't get transferred when you change an account. So we change an account owner. So we've got first owner currently owns the account. The account has two opportunities. Uh, and if we look at those opportunities, we can see that first owner, first user owns one of them. The other is owned by someone else, the integration user. Okay, so we are going to do, we're gonna change this account's owner. We're gonna change it from first owner. And we are going to change it to second user. And we're going to take advantage of, the, of this action. And we're, what are our choices here? So the first is uh, transfer open opportunities associated with the account. And when we, we actually, the API lets us decide whether we'd want to transfer all opportunities or just the ones that the previous owner owns. So let's do that right now. We're going to transfer just the opportunity uh, that is owned by first user. All right, so we expect this to become second user. And now what we're going to expect is that the one that was previously owned by first user is going to change, but this other one isn't. So let's refresh. Okay, so that worked out. Uh, let's go back now and run it again. And now we're going to transfer it back to first user and we are going to uh, move all the opportunities that are on that account to first user. So we expect this to be first user. And we expect both of these to be transferred to first user. And so that works as well. Uh, and we've also got this ability to work with the uh, closed opportunities uh, independently, as you saw there on the screen, but I won't show that here. All right. Let's look at how we could control activities related to accounts. Uh, this account has one activity called do some stuff and it is open, uh, not started technically, uh, currently assigned to first user, who is also the account, account owner. So we will transfer this account to second user. 
and we will check the checkbox to also transfer the open activity. All right, so we expect that this will be second user. And now let's look at, we've got last modified, assigned to first user. So, so the assignment has changed. So that's, that's the key change here. Now, what I'm gonna do is run this again and assign this back to first user. but not transfer the records open activities. And so now if we go here, we see that this is assigned to first user, but the activity remains assigned to second user, which is what we expect.